Life is very long. T.S. Eliot. Not the first person to say it. Certainly not the first person to think it. Absolutely goddamn right. You ready for this? No. No way. Hey, Mom, I'm here. Oh, Mom. You're so big. Look at your boobs. Last time I saw you, you looked like a little boy. God damn your father for putting me through this. Do you remember your Aunt Karen? Well, that must be this year's man. Soon you'll be gone, never to return. Don't start with that. Father, you broke his heart when you moved away. That is wildly unfair. You were Beverly's favorite, you know that. I prefer to think my parents loved their children equally. I'm sure you prefer to think that Santa Claus brought you presents, too. I missed Uncle Beth's funeral. That doesn't mean anything compared to what you have in your heart. Belle, where are you living now? I beg your pardon? You and Barb are separated, right? Or are you divorced already? Is there a younger woman involved? You've said enough on this topic. Yes. Well, see, odds are against you there, babe. That's pleasant. In my day, families stayed together. I'm a man on fire, walking through your street with one guitar and two dancing feet. You supposed to be smoking? Is anybody supposed to smoke? What are you doing? Do I smell what I think I smell? Be a father. Help me. Our kid is trying to deal with this madhouse you dragged her into. This madhouse is my home. Yeah, think about that statement for a second. <laughs> Marriage is hard. That's one thing about mom and dad. You gotta tip your hat to anybody who could stay married that long. Karen killed himself. <sighs> Thank God we can't tell the future. We'd never get out of it.